Virgo, this is your reading from the 1st of May 2020 to mid-May 2020. Please do note, this may not resonate for everyone. For those of you returning, thank you very much. For those of you who are new, welcome to my channel. Please do like, share, and subscribe, and I do appreciate all of your comments and um, all of the likes. It's so much fun, actually, um, hearing from all of you and just knowing that I can help somehow. So guys, I'm going to be using the Goddess Oracle deck by Amy Sophia Marashinsky. I will be channeling into what the person that you're wanting to connect with on a romantic level, what they're thinking of and what they're feeling towards you um, from mid, uh, from early May to mid-May. Uh, do keep in mind that time is not linear, so it's very fluid. So this could be, this situation might have happened, you know, many weeks ago, this could happen in the near future, this could happen in the far future. But whatever it is, whoever it resonates for, just, um, you know, comment below, let me know. Hopefully you guys will like the reading. All right, guys. Let me just do a quick prayer. All right, guys, so first card up is growth. Second card is creativity. They're almost similar cards. Beauty. Selfhood. Synthesis. Death and rebirth. Nourishment. Hearth and home. Under the bottom of the deck is embracing the shadow. So, let's get to it, Virgo. My dear Virgo, overall I feel that what happened between us is very bad. I didn't mean to do the things that I did. I didn't mean to make you feel uncomfortable. And this situation has made us both a bit uncomfortable. But I really truly want to grow with you. I want to create a foundation with you. I want to create a world of beautiful things with you that will never end. Because I feel and I see the beauty that's not just outside, but the beauty that's skin deep. All the way inside your heart, your soul, your mind. You are a very beautiful person and I see that now. And I also see that you are now very much single, very much alone. You may be with someone else, I'm not sure. However, you have become defensive and you've become closed off to me. And all I want right now is to have peace and harmony between us and our relationship. And I want to bring to death whatever has happened between us and have a rebirth of something new. Because I feel that when I'm with you, you give me nourishment on a spiritual and physical level. And you are my hearth and home. You make me feel as if you and I are both family and we've known each other for many years, maybe even past lives. I hold a flame in my heart very close. It keeps me warm, it gives me light. And that's what I feel that you are to me. But I'm just trying to process what happened between us because I know it's made you and me a bit uneasy. I may have been impulsive. I may have been a bit aggressive. But I just need some time to think about what happened. But my feelings towards you, I like you. I do like you. I think you are a very beautiful person. I want to grow with you. So Virgo, that's your message. 
This person kind of feels... They're just thinking. They actually don't have any major, major intentions, but their intentions towards you are very sweet. They do care about you. They do care. There's no, you know, explicit, you know, soul connection, love, um, sexual energy, sensuality. There's, there's none of those cards, but it does seem as if this person genuinely, they just genuinely care about you. And of course, it all starts through friendship. Everything starts for friendship, slow and steady. So now I'm going to use the Beginner's Tarot deck just to see what it is, the actions that this person, Virgo, will be taking towards you um, from beginning of May to mid-May. Okay, so... Three of Pentacles and the High Priestess. So, the actions this person is going to take, most likely, so most likely you, you know this person either through mutual friends, it could possibly be um, that you guys have mutual friends at this point in your relationship. However, it does seem like this person is going to stay very quiet about their emotions and feelings. They want to take you out and they have already made their choice, they want to choose you, but they're keeping quiet about their selection because they're just, um, they just have a lot of things on their mind right now. Seven of Cups. They have a lot of, there's a lot of temptation in this situation. There's a lot of temptation. There's a lot of options. Um, but you are somebody that they are thinking of um, on a romantic level because they do find you very beautiful. And they are very um, upset about what happened. Oh, great. Under the bottom of the deck. This solidifies everything, guys. So... It's not the fact that this person has too many options. It's the fact that they have chosen you and because they want you, it's upsetting them. They're having sleepless nights. They're having nights where they cry themselves to bed. They're having uh, mental anguish, anxiety. Uh, they're even depressed because they're not able to communicate with you and tell you how they feel right now because they're trying to get over what happened. So it doesn't